Here we are, following a woman on a mission to save sharks. It all started with an idea. A year and a half ago, Jeanne Gerardo decided to swim from Copenhagen to Koh Tao. An open water swim estimated at 43 kilometers. In association with Paddy's Project Aware Finathon, Jeanne is raising money to help stop the rapid decline of shark populations. I lived here about six years ago uh, and I worked as a videographer and I remember just going out on dives, you know, within a month or two months we'd see four or five whale sharks, lots and lots of bull sharks at Champagne Pinnacle and then coming back over the years, you know, just talking to people there, you don't see the sharks anymore. It's really rare to see a whale shark but you don't see the bull sharks at Champagne Pinnacle so I think, you know, coming to that point where we really need to start doing something about taking care of the sharks in the ocean. So the swim is, it's good timing to work together with Project Aware on it. So on Saturday the 24th of May, Jeanne and her support team headed over to Copenhagen. many people giving up their time to help me to to achieve one of my dreams and also together with Project Aware, uh, just the media coverage and just it's just amazing. I'm, I feel quite special. So <laughs> I, <laughs> I just say thank you to everybody and I'll see you on the other side. The ocean was flat, not a bit of wind, perfect conditions for a swim. As the sun sets in Copenhagen, preparations were made for the epic task at hand. The swim was a personal goal for Genet, for both distance and raising awareness. Sharks need our help. This is Genet's story. Getting ready in the middle of the night. At 2 a.m., Jeanne steps into the dark black waters of the beach in Copenhagen to start her monster swim to the island of Koh Tao. With the support boat at hand, her team members make sure it all goes to plan. After a one hour swim in the darkness, only guided by a small light on the kayak, it is time for a feed. Unable to touch the boat, Jeanne has to tread water whilst recharging. From now on, Jeanne gets her food and drink every 30 minutes. Although the night swim scared her at first, she now enjoys the peacefulness of it all, and her spirits are high. Meanwhile on the boat, the team keeps the world updated. She slowly approaches Koh Tao. At dawn, Jeanne's support swimmer Nikki enters the water to keep her company on this lonesome mission. Jeanne keeps on going strong with an average of 55 arm strokes per minute. On the boat, Aisha is writing down all the messages of support and encouragement so she can pass it on to Jeanne to keep her spirits up. Um, 
tell my mom the sun came up. Alright, she should be alright. After four hours, as the next power meal is being prepared, there is an extra little treat. It is now time for fudge. After 21 kilometers, the wind picks up, but Genet plows through the waves undeterred. Genet is now at the point where she needs all the support she can get. Koh Tao doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Luckily, the master diver's cheering squad arrives on a long tail to show her how close she is. Genet speeds up again. And after 13 hours and 23 minutes, 10,391 calories burnt, 36 kilometers and 330 meters, Genet touches land. A year and a half in the planning, over $5,000 raised and counting, Genet catches a ride to the beach to celebrate her victory for sharks. So please guys, here comes Genet. I think she is on the kayak. Well done. So come on ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to Genet. because there actually are no sharks, so I'm not scared at all. <laughs> How many shots are you going to get if you step in my face? I'm just filming, aren't you? My pun. Oh, that was a nice shot. <laughs> We're looking for dolphins or a whale shark. Yeah. Listen! Keep swimming, bitch! <laughs> Jean, Jean. Here we are, following a woman on a mission to shave sharks. 